Good evening, everybody, or good morning, whichever one it be by the time I upload this video. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the blessings that's been pouring in. I don't know if anybody realized, but so far this week, it's been a lot going on on the YouTube feed where you got Gunner speaking out. Well, you got YSL, Young Thug speaking out about Gunner. And then you have Luda Dirk, and, you know, he did his interview on ACT, and a lot of people were saying that, you know, he was asked certain questions that, you know, they felt like he don't, he shouldn't have been asked, like, incriminating questions. You know, I don't know, because I don't know, you know, what nobody did. We only know what, you know, people say, but, you know, I can't prove nothing, so I cannot say that anybody did something that I didn't say. I have one. Do that mean that they didn't? I don't know. No, it don't. They just mean that I'm you know, not a witness, so I don't know. But what I really want to speak out about is the fact that in all Young Thug's interviews, you know, they say he don't do interviews, but the interviews that he did spoke about how Gunner was his brother. You know, he helped Gunner get on for his music and stuff like that. He said he never took a dime from him. You know, they just want to see people do better than him. You know, he everything he ever made, he let him keep and stuff like that. And Dirk basically said, you know, he don't like rats because, you know, whatever the situation with his dad and people, someone telling on his dad and putting his dad away forever and stuff like that. But Dirk got to understand that as an adult, people make their own decisions. And just like with this situation with Thugger, you know, I'm sure he never thought that Gunner was going to, you know, turn states or, you know, turn on him or, you know, just take a deal. And just like they never thought they would get caught, you know, allegedly. But it's just sad to see, you know, like how he really, really was bigging Gunner up. Like, I never took a dime from nothing he made. You know, and all those kind of things. Like, basically, he let him eat real good and didn't even want to dime for helping him. Like, you know, because that's, like, that's my brother. That's my brother. And I feel like the last time we heard anything about the other was, you know, he missed court and allegedly and went to the hospital and those kind of things. And so now he's really been surfacing like interviews from two three years ago and now showing up on the feed and you know, i don't know if that could be a sign and you know some may say don't put that in the air whatever the case but for some reason he's showing up and you know videos and platforms that i never even heard of you know he's doing interviews and you know it just goes to show you that those that you really have confidence in and believe that's really gonna rob you to the end Man, they just won't, you know. Not saying that, you know, Gunner should, you know, go away and leave his kids or nothing like that. I'm not saying that either, but I'm saying that reality is, like, you don't know when push come to shove, who really rocking, who really rolling. And, and it's sad. And it's not only in these kind of situations, like, in, like, friendships and all these kind of things, like, people will really, really, you know, do you wrong just to go somewhere where they think, you know, things are better or just to find out that things are even worse. And so, I don't know. Like I said, I've seen videos floating the last two days of Thugger like two, three years ago. And it's like I never even heard of these particular platforms. And so for the content with him to be resurfacing, you know, um, I don't know what it could mean. But I definitely feel like it's a sign. And so, I don't know. It's, it's just a lot, and, you know, as I said, last time we seen him, you know, they say he didn't come to court, he was in the hospital, you know, he hadn't been out, you know, he's drained, and, you know, all these different things are going on with him, you know, it's like everybody that you know, everybody in your life is, like, basically going home because they pointing at you. And it, it was probably, it's sick to his heart, I'm sure. He got to be devastated. You know, again, I hope that it's not a bad reason that he's surfacing, surfacing full force in the feed, but I just did not want to acknowledge that. I do see it. And um, I don't know, sometimes God show us things for a reason. 
But um, all he said, everywhere he went, every interview, you know, he's like, Gunner, my brother, man, he's my brother, he was at my house all the time. And it be the ones, man, that sit down at your table and eat your food that it hurts you, hurt your loved ones, take for you, don't bring back. Like, it's sad. It's sad, but it's sad. All we could do is make better decisions. That's all, you know. Certain things happen to the best of us, but got to hold your head and keep pushing, you know. Y'all have the blessed rest of the week. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And, you know, don't. Don't beat yourself up because of other people's bad decisions. That's my word for tonight. Be blessed. Peace.